Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at ModMy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own boot logos for your iOS devices using a program called BootGIF. And the first thing you're going to have to do is download a couple of files. First one being iFunbox. You're going to need that. Plus you're going to need BootGIF. And I'll have the links for those in the description below. And you will also have to add a new repo. And adding repos are very easy. And I'll show you how to do that now on here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Cydia. And we're going to go to Sources. And in Sources, we're going to add... I, we're going to add the iRepo here, you see. It's the iRepo.com, T H E I R E P O.com. I'll have it on the screen here for you, too, as well as in the description. And once you have entered that, uh, and just real quickly to, to add a source, all you have to do is tap Edit, then tap Add here on the left. And in that little box there, you're going to put the iRepo.com. Okay. Now, once you've done that, select the repo and go in here and download Animate. And it's the one that you see the check mark by. If you don't download it from inside this repo and you search the Cydia and download Animate, you're going to download the wrong one. Be certain you go through the repo like I just showed you how to do. Animate. Download Animate. And this is what it looks like here. And it works on iOS 7, 64-bit devices as well. So all the way up through 7.11. Now after you have that, we're going to come back out and we're going to open up Boot Logo. And once you, un once you open it up and install it, it will look like this. And you're going to also go to Google Images. And just find any GIF file that you want to make a boot logo from. Once you find the, the image you want, just simply right click on it. Save it as a GIF file. So you're going to put .gif after it. And save it to your desktop. That way you can find it real easy. And I'm using this Apple one here. It changes colors. And it's very easy to do. I'll show you what it does. First thing you're going to do is you're going to choose Select GIF. And I chose the desktop because it's very much easier to find. So once you find, once you click desktop, you're going to click open, and then you're going to choose whatever the name of the file is that you're going to uh, use as a boot logo. I'm going to be using apple.gif. So I'm going to hit open. And the next thing you want to do, if you want to change any of the, the fade or anything like that, that's going to be just something that you're going to have to play around with, guys. I didn't do it, okay? You can even change the background color here. I didn't do that either. But you will have to select the output because that's where it's going to put your new boot logo. So you'll need to know where to find it at. I chose desktop here again. And once you choose that, then you can come down here and click Boot Logo. But if you want to change any of these settings in here, that's going to be totally left up to you. If you want to fit the width and height, but it sort of made my image distorted. So I chose to just have it regular fit, you know. Because I was mainly after getting that apple to change colors. And I'll show you what I mean. You're going to hit Make Boot Logo. And once you tap that, you're going to get this little pop-up box right here. It says your animation will show up as whatever. To use it, place it in library, boot logos on your device, and you're done. Now, this is where iFunbox comes in. Open iFunbox. Come in here and go to Raw File System. And you're going to go to Library. Double-click that. And double-click Boot Logos. And from here, you're just going to pick your file up, that you your boot logo file, and you're just going to bring it in here, and you're just going to drop it, release it. 
once you release it you're done you can hit refresh if you want to but I just minimized it and I minimized that and now you're gonna go to your iOS device and once you're in here you're gonna go to your settings scroll down to boot logo and now you're gonna have I've got two BL files because I dragged that other one in there and you know just to show you guys what it was like so as you can see edit select under extras if you want to tap preview that's gonna be left up to you but it's gonna look very choppy so don't be worried about that so you're gonna reboot and when you reboot when it comes back on you should see your new boot logo okay so keep that in mind okay guys now I'm gonna show you the new boot logo so I'm gonna turn it off and then we'll turn it back on and when it comes back up you'll get to see the new boot logo hopefully you guys can see these colors here in the video I'm doing the best I can here with my camera hopefully I'll have a new one before long but anyway guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go share this video on Facebook and Twitter follow modmy.com on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back